So here we're going to see some examples of look at. So let's start in the upper left corner. So this has got a stack of just rotation matrices. Know nothing about look at yet. We have a translator rotate a scale. Um, and we see that if we click on one of these and I move, you can see this has got the camera translating. So on the left side, you can see the camera translate. On the right, we see the view as this would happen. So this, this is just a translate. Um, so it's showing it as the camera translating, but this we've been using it so far in this class as when I call translate, I move the car. So you can see the car is moving here. Um, and if I mess with the rotate, well, the car is rotating. This is, this is what we're able to do. So it's somehow it's similar to moving the camera, right? We're, we're moving the way that we're looking at this object. And there's a duality here. Am I rotating the car or am I rotating the camera around the car? It's all the same matrix. It's difficult to tell. So now let's go to the bottom left and we can take a look at um, the same thing being done now with the look at command. So in the look at command, we have the I position. So now I'm moving the camera along the X axis and now I'm moving it on the Y axis. And you can see how things are moving when, the, when this happens. And the center point is being kept in the middle of the ball at the center position but we can move this center point also so if we move this center point then what we're looking at changes and you see the ball now is moving out out of the screen so what does up do so up let's set the vector to be different for up and you can see it's just rotating the picture what's actually in the picture isn't changing just the just the orientation, the, the rotation around this of the picture is what's changing. Okay, let's see it in yet another another program that's got the, the same thing going. Okay, so here we have camera position. We can move our camera around X and Y. You can see the view of the duck on the right. You can see with the frustrum what's go, what's going on on the on the left. So we can move our camera to different to different positions to, to view this scene from, from different locations. Now in this particular program, the camera target's a little confusing. When I move my camera target over, they're moving the camera position also. You see the slider for the camera position is also moving. So if I was only moving the camera target, the at position, I have to go put my camera back to see, see what am I gonna look like, right? So my camera is not supposed to be changing, just the at is supposed to be changing, more similar to what we saw in the previous program. Uh, what's interesting about this program is we can see down on this bottom corner, here's the actual matrix this year. So let me reset my camera. So this is my matrix with my Z is at five. So I have a Z here on my five because the final position of this camera, remember, is camera on origin, object in the, in the distance um, uh, on the negative Z axis, right? So an identity matrix would be with the camera on the origin looking down negative Z. Since we've moved up, we have this in this position. If we move our eye position around, oh, we can see that there's some things that are changing in this matrix, but it's just a matrix. Uh, and this is the matrix that get calculated by the look at command. And this is the matrix that you're gonna end up passing to your GLSL code through a uniform variable into your vertex shader. 